all right so let's say we have team city installed on our local and in the last video we have created a repository on bitbucket so now we are going to create a team city job or you can say team city project where we are going to fetch our code directly from those repositories okay so what we can do is we first of all go to bitbucket and copy the link for link to that uh, repository so i need to go to create project and then i need to fill up all these details like repository url and the credentials that i have for that repository so if i click on proceed see what happens is it says that connection to vcs repository is verified now we are okay with it it says which repository you want to use we have only one repository its name is repo1 and we can proceed with this so what it will show you on the left side it will give you certain steps so the first step is general settings then we have second step which is version control settings if you go to general settings you will find settings like name build id build configuration type and all other details we'll see those things later let us first focus on version control settings so here we can see that the repository is already present if it is not present there what you can do is you can click on add repository and then put all these details again so let us go back on the general settings and fill up the details like project name so i put the name as project 1 i put the build configuration id as let's say something like repo1 underscore project1 and then whatever is mandatory i'll put this let's say the description as uh, this is a dummy repository or something like that this is our first project on team city and then we can choose according to our configuration type let's say we use regular for the time being build number format we leave it as it is we'll talk about variables later on right for the time being let's say we leave everything else and we just save the general settings then we go to vcs again and we already have this present so we need not make any changes here let us see what it, what we have here so one option is to delete the previous checkout so what it will do is it will always clean that trip folder on your local before it takes the fresh clone from git so every time when you run the job from here so you will see here the agent would be busy so by default your agent would be your local machine only and it would be copying or cloning your code on to your local only but in a separate folder but you can add different machines as agents so assume that team city is installed on my machine and you have five other machines on which agent is running so team city can give instructions to download the project on those machines and maybe execute them so we can go to build log to see what exactly has happened and everything is clearly mentioned here in the detail that it has pulled the code from this repository and if you want to see the directory where it has cloned you can see it is cloning into c team city and then build agent work and this reference number so if we go to this directory we'll see the code pulled in this folder and this is an r local now it is not same as the directory we have set up for pet bucket in our previous video right so we do not have any steps configured as of now after this so that's why build is finished and it is successful so you can also see here this is the first build but as soon as you run the builds multiple times you will be having track of all the builds on the team city you can again go back to edit settings to see the same screen and then after your code is cloned on your local you can add build steps so build steps are basically to build your project and to execute it so you can have list of runners for your project for every type of language maybe it is android maybe it is dot net maybe it is java or if you do not have a utility to build it you can use command line and pass arguments to build that you can always give your custom script along with arguments let's say to try it out what we do is we add a command line step and we simply put a comment here echo hello kamal 
So this step should run after the code is cloned to our local and then next step is let's say directories. It will list all the directories from the current directory onto the console. So we do not have any other steps as of now. Let's see we have triggers as well. We'll talk about it later on. Let us say first of all we want to run it as it is. So I go back to the run option. Again it says that agent is busy and there is another count of job which is job number two and now we see the job is success so if I go here and click on the build log or maybe if I go to history I'll see a list of builds that we have executed on this particular agent or this particular project so if I click inside we can see the logs again so in the code we have seen we have the step for version control we again have a step for build so it echoes my text here and it also displays the files that are present in that particular folder so ultimately it publishes the result and it says that build is finished and successful so this is how team city works it is a very basic job which we have created we have just pulled our code from github and then we have added one step to show you that how we can execute or build the project. We'll later see more complicated situations and in fact more advanced things in our future videos. Thank you for being with us. I'll see you in the next video.